Hey everybody, it's Brian Davis, Mr. Buys a Lot. I, you guys will hear a little bit of wind in the background while the door is open here. But just wanted to show you guys, I am unloading the items that I bought yesterday. Uh, this is just kind of the intro to the video and then I will show you guys what I picked up yesterday that possibly will be coming to auction or will be sold to our buyers directly just kind of as a flip. Uh, which seems to be kind of what I've been doing lately is flipping the entire loads. Um, you guys are paying me for what I buy. Sorry about the wind, but check it out. There's some awesome stuff in here. This is a cool store display from the 1950s filled with 150 of the little soldiers. There are postcards, toys, Marvel cards from the 1960s, starting lineups, a huge box of cap guns, just a bunch of stuff. I'll be showing you guys in just a few seconds. Hang on. Ta-da, the miracle of a pause button on a recording. So this is what I bought this weekend. I'll give you guys a quick flip through. I am willing to flip the entire deal, everything I bought this weekend, with the exception of the comic books that I'll show you guys. I bought the comic books. I paid pretty good for them. Um, I got them, you know, probably 30% lower than retail, but they're hot books. They're, they're good grades. I'm trying to spend some of the money that I make investing and putting some stuff away so i decided comic books graded comics and some graded items are going to be what i'm going to put away but uh i want to show you guys what we picked up so first off we got a box and more postcards more turn of the century awesome postcard items even though we're selling all the ones we got this is a great puzzle it looks to be a train with a full advertising layout on it. These are turn of the century, really good. There is a battery operated Mickey Mouse spaceship game in the box. This is, I believe this is a cigar cutter. Um, it is a little guillotine made out of brass. Here is a photo on board that I purchased separate and here's why I purchased it. Let's see, you can see there, it is an Undertaker's store. So there's a lot of people that collect Undertaker items and uh, post-mortem pictures stuff like that so all of that stuff is available here is a box of about 500 maybe 600 press photos from movies from the 1940s up through the 60s yeah you know, rock around the clock chubby checker chubby checker chubby checker uh, these are 1940s stills there's veronica lake stills uh, let's see who's in this one. Eric Von Stroem, Mary Beth Hughes, Dan Daria. So that's a 1940s movie. There's some duplication, but it is all guaranteed authentic, original. You know, here's George Montgomery. Here's Richard Allen in Timber Queen um, with Beth Hughes and John, uh, June Hovac. So this is a great lot of photos. You guys have seen my what solds. These are actually better than what I normally sell. Um, these are 1940s, 50s, and 60s movie stills with a lot of great actors and actresses. I picked up this awesome International's Spring Baseball Promotion Kit. So what this is, is it is a store display. All right, here's the paperwork for a bakery. And you got all this stuff that hangs all over the windows and, and it's all major league licensed you know Dodgers White Sox Giants uh, Red Sox stuff like that 19 probably late 50s early 60s would be my guess we got a bunch of 1966 Marvel uh, trading cards these were pretty awesome you can see the guy had eight bucks a piece on these Cards are very, very hot market, especially non-sports cards, and to be combined with superhero is pretty fantastic. I bought a nice little group of vintage Pew Pews cap guns. Obviously, they're all toys. There's a Fanner 50, and it's a Cheyenne. Here is a Roy Rogers, and here is another Roy Rogers. Here is a Roy Rogers holster right here with the double R's. 
very cool very early and then i bought and i've actually got to go pick up the rest of this if you guys are sleeping on vintage kenner starting lineups don't uh the sports card market has exploded and psa is grading the cards out of these and the 1988 michael jordan ones are doing eight thousand dollars for a psa 10 Michael Jordan from the starting lineups. They didn't used to be able to sell except for a few players. Now they're all starting to get hot. I made a deal with the guy. I, this is just the sample he brought me. I'm going on Saturday to pick up the rest of these. Um, I'm going to buy 2,500 carded figures this coming Saturday, along with 5,000 magazines that are all from the turn of the century to the 1960s, early 70s that are wrestling and sports and life and you know things like that um there's some really good magazines and publications but the starting lineups are awesome you know alex rodriguez two different years of alex rodriguez car, uh, starting lineups there we have nolan ryan's roberto alomar there's a king Griffey jr this is just a sample of what he brought me barry bonds you know charles jones i have no clue who he is um ricky bones I have no clue who he is nomar garza uh garza Pera heard of him but really don't know who he is but i'm getting football baseball and basketball this weekend so these are all drew bledsoe look these are there's like seven drew bledsoe's from 1995 there are a bunch of troy aikman right here pretty awesome right like this is cool comes with two cards that i could possibly get graded here's three more troy aikman's from a different year you have the John Elway from 88. You have another Drew Bledsoe there. We have Mike Mussina. And look, Jeter's, Derek Jeter. And then we have Andrew Jones. So that was a pretty awesome group of starting lineups. Can't lie, I'm kind of excited about buying the other 2,500 starting lineups. Um, so those are gonna be available probably next week. We'll see what happens. And then the best item I bought that is for sale that, you know, if somebody is interested in buying everything I bought in this lot, comment below and we'll discuss it. Um, my guess is I have, I have about $2,000 invested into what I'm showing you right now. Not counting the comic books that I bought. So, you know, if I'm selling, I'm probably going to be looking around three grand. But this is probably worth that. So this is Knights of Camelot, original store display with 150 of the figures. Let's see, five times three is 30, and it's five rows deep. Yep, so 150 of the figures. These were done in the 19, early 60s, late 50s. These were kind of like the Marx Warriors of the World. These are by Plasticum. Plasticum. Plasticum Company, which was also like Starlux, I think, was the other name that they went by. Um, very cool, you know, printed in USA. But all the little different soldiers, 150 of those. Those figures sell for 15 to 30 bucks a piece um, per figure. And then I've never seen the store display. So. Got the store display, got all these cool starting lineups, got the cap guns, got the Marvel cards, the baseball store display, the huge group of almost 1,800 early postcards, 500 or 600 press photos, the card. I have to figure out exactly what I spent. Um, and then I'll show you guys what I bought that I'm going to put away from me for myself and I spent $850 on these five books. So here's what we got. We got a Thor number 337. This is the first Beta Ray Bill. It is CGC graded 9.4. Here is a Tales of the Teen Titans. This is the first Nightwing. This is number 44. It is a 9.6. It's a great book. There's also the first appearance of Jericho in there. Everybody knows this book. This is the original Star Wars issue number one. This is a graded 9.2, so pretty awesome. I picked up this out of a guy's, uh, he had in his $10 box. He had it priced at 12. 
This is 362. 361 is the first appearance of Venom or Carnage. Can't remember. And then here is a New Mutants 98. You can see the price he had on it. It does have rusty staples on the inside. The outside actually looks pretty good, but the staples on the inside have bled a little bit. I paid 175 for that book and this book together. Didn't get much of a discount, but two great books. Very hot in the market. Uh, this is the first Deadpool. Again, first Star Wars. These are for me to keep. So on the other stuff, I have... 1750 1850 2000 and then 2040 and what else did I buy over there let's walk back over I'll tell you guys exactly what I spent I have no secrets because what I paid doesn't matter at the end of the day it is if you're comfortable paying what I want so I have 2040 2100 so I have about $2,150 into this lot of what I have here and then I spent $850 on the comic books so I have $3,000 spent out this week um, yesterday at the flea market so my price for all of the stuff you see on the table the baseball this the photos all the postcards, this, all these starting lineups, which could be really good. I haven't done any research on them yet. The Roy Rogers cap guns, all of this stuff like that, including this store display. I would do $3,500 shipped. I spent $3,000. I would get $3,500 back. I'm literally, I'm going to make $500 profit, and I'm going to get to keep the comic books for free. That's, that's my goal. That's what I want to make. Um... If these are fifteen to thirty dollars a piece, fifteen to twenty bucks a piece, there's a hundred and fifty of these figures, and they're all gem mint with an original store display. If I go to do anything with this piece personally, you know, I would list this piece at three thousand, um, and probably take offers in the twenty-five hundred dollar range for just this. We get from ten to fifty dollars a piece for these press photos. There's you know five hundred ish of them. The postcards are really good ones. Um, I will just tell you that. I looked through two handfuls and spent a few hundred dollars on the box, like 400 I believe I paid for that lot, or 500 I think it was 400 for the box and then 100 for the sleeves. So got that. This was 200 just for these cards. These, if they're gradable, will bring really good money. There's very few graded ones up for sale. And I didn't check any starting lineups, I didn't check the cap guns, and I don't know about on the baseball store display. So my price, if anybody wants to buy everything, $3,500 before we start auctioning it tomorrow. I'm going to try to post this video tonight, even though I already did a video today, but wanted to give you guys a little idea of what I purchased. And again, this is my favorite item of what I got, just because I love, 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 love vintage toy store displays. If you guys ever see this type of stuff out and you can't afford it or it looks really cool and you want to make some money let me know about it if it's good enough where I buy it I'll pay you a finders fee same with anything um, if you guys know of deals don't ever hesitate to let us know about deals if I buy the deal I will give you a minimum of a 10% finders fee based on the value not on what I pay so if I pay 500 I might not give you 50 bucks if the deal's worth 2000, I'm going to give you 200 bucks. You know, I want you guys to, you know, get paid for your work and we're always looking for comics, cards, toys, um, pretty much anything. So, hopefully you guys enjoy this video on what we picked up yesterday at the flea market and if anybody's interested, just put a comment below. First comment obviously sold, we'll get it. $3500 for the stuff up here does not include my comic books. So, but everything else is included that's on the table, and I will be buying more starting lineups this coming weekend, and a lot of other awesome stuff this weekend. So, see you guys later. Mr. Bizelot signing off.